is part 27 of the invoice management system application and in this one this is what we want to do all right now if i scroll down you can see uh there is a scroll to top button right here okay yeah you can see it's scroll to top if i scroll up it will be disappeared if i scroll down it will be displayed now if i click it it will scroll and animate going up great so and there's another one like if i scroll down you can see we've added these uh paginations okay or paginations i can use this button to move between one page and the other yeah so this is what we want to do in this video all the codes are available here as usual all right so the first step is to download the pagination or the yeah the pagination plugin from this website i've already linked it here so this is the um plugin that you gotta download okay once you download it you're gonna extract it okay you're gonna extract it and paste it in the src folder i've already done that if i open my src you can see i've renamed it to just pager and these are the four files in it so once you did this or once you've done this all right so once you get that we can move to the next step you can close the site and then move to step number two which is to add the pagination script to our javascript file i'm gonna copy this and switch over to the sublime okay our text editor so right here in my js i'm gonna find somewhere to place this code okay i'm gonna paste it just anywhere below here all right so what this code is doing is it's gonna look for our table or we're gonna mention or we're gonna um define a table that we're gonna apply pagination on so i have a table um i have a what's the name again in the entry page sorry in the list invoice page we have this class table so whatever class that you have here for your table is what you're gonna apply here okay so it is a class i'm gonna say dot table dot paging limit 15 so 15 defines how many lines that you can have all right so if i switch over to the application you can see i have all the codes or all the lines right on one page okay these are the items that we've entered into the database so i have up to 21. if i refresh i'm gonna do control refresh okay um it's not working we have to check that i hope i saved it okay let's save it wow yeah what we gonna do is you need javascript you need um jquery to make this happen okay or to make this possible now if i go to the list page i have to have jquery stuff right here so a few videos ago we've shown you how to do that and i have all the codes right here on the entry page i'm gonna copy that all the way down here and paste it in the enter page so you're gonna have the jquery ui.min.css you're gonna have the structure and the team.min.css you also have to have the jquery file itself okay yep and then the jquery ui so i'm gonna save it okay we also have to have our javascript file itself okay i'm gonna copy this one as well and paste it all the way down here and save it now i'm gonna refresh scroll down okay it's still not working let's see why it is not working in the list page all right so let's debug i'm gonna do right click inspect All right, so we also have to add the paging application or the paging plugin to our site. Again, I forget that. So right here, um, I have the paging file in JS pager, and then you have paging.js. I'm gonna copy this and then add paging 
page are right here slash paging.js I guess it is paging yeah um, paging.js yeah save it then control refresh again the error is gone and we have our pager file right here or our pager buttons right here okay you can see I have page 1 and page 2 if I click next I'm at page 2 and if I click this other one I'm at page 1 you can also click the text okay but this is not how we want it we want to apply the page style as well okay now this is the JavaScript or oh, sorry the um, CSS part of it you also have that from their website but I also paste the code right here okay I'm gonna copy this and paste it in the CSS file I can paste it anywhere let me just paste it just below the body okay all right so it has three sections to it you have this that and the bottom one so I'm gonna save it and then refresh the application all right so the paging um, styles and the button styles are applied I can move from one page to the other by clicking these two buttons or these two um, tabs or you can also click the icon uh, the number itself all right so that is done great so um, we can now move to the scroll to top button all right now uh, to add a scroll to top button we'll have to have an element that will be clickable okay so this is what I want to click to scroll to top I'm gonna paste it somewhere on the list yeah the list invoice page I'm gonna put it right here save it okay if I refresh we should have it just below the table right here okay good so um, now this is not doing anything it's just because of the hash that's why it is just reloading or taking us back to the top but this is not the actual effect that we want okay this is just a default behavior of HTML if you have uh, a hash like if you have a, this hash right here it's just gonna take you all the way up on the top of the page okay but we want to use um, JavaScript to scroll all the way to the top to add that scroll effect now that is the next part if I switch back to the codes I'm gonna copy this okay what we want to do in fact is we want to make sure this is hitting all until we've scrolled down okay at the moment it is always visible on the page because it's just a regular HTML element okay now if I use CSS I'm gonna use that to style and hide okay and hide that element so this is the class scroll to top you can see that's the class over there okay now we're gonna give it a, a width of 100 pixels we're gonna give it padding we can align in center with all these other parameters okay text decoration none means we don't want to apply any um, uh, anchor tags because it is an anchor uh, it is an anchor element we just don't want to apply those default anchor elements or the default anchor decorations right so we're gonna give it a fixed position the bottom will be it will be it will leave 10 uh, pixels bottom and uh, on the on the right 20 pixels okay and we're gonna say display none I'm gonna hide this okay I'm gonna comment that I mean to refresh you can see it is right here okay it has given 10 below and 20 on the from the right now we want to make sure it is this is hidden okay right now it is always visible so that's display none okay the display none here will make it hidden right so it's gone but we want JavaScript to display it one once we scroll down so that's what I'm gonna do with this first part of the code right here okay I'm gonna paste it in the JS file okay so what do we do um, we're gonna look for window if it's scrolled if it's cool and pass this number of lines 550 lines okay or 50 positions okay we're gonna um, feed this um, class in we're gonna feed it in else we're gonna feed it out so this will enable or this will hide or display 
the um, scroll to top button if I scroll all the way up you can see it has faded out check right here fade it in fade it out as I'm scrolling down it will fade it in if I scroll up it will fade it out all right now I want if I click it it should scroll all the way up okay so that is this code right here okay I'm just gonna paste it right below here so okay if I click on this okay this is the class on click if I click it I want to scroll the entire uh, HTML body or the entire page okay and now I'm gonna do the animation I'm gonna use the animation um, to to scroll it up okay and it will take 800 milliseconds to get to the top of the page let me just um, reduce that number to maybe uh, 500 because 800 will be a little bit uh, slow because we have a very short page good um, I'm gonna save and then do refresh control refresh if I scroll and then click it you can see the scrolling effect right there all right so this is what I want to show you um, on this tutorial I hope you have enjoyed it if you do don't forget to click on the like button if you have any questions leave them in the comments below Otherwise, see you in the next video.